In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to properly use retinol, especially if you're a beginner like me, because trust me, I've been there and I still consider myself somewhat of a beginner. The first time I ever used retinol, I ended up ruining my skin. My skin was peeling, my skin was breaking out, it was a mess. And that is because I did not do my research properly. I just jumped in because at the time, retinol was becoming a thing and I wanted to jump on the trend. So what I did was I just went to the store and got the first retinol that I could get my hands on and I started using it. I used the prescription grade retinol. Then I gave up and concluded that retinol is not for my skin or I assumed that retinol is not for my skin, which is not the case. I just didn't do my research well. In case you're wondering how your skin can benefit from retinol, simply put retinol is great for anti-aging if you want to look great in your 60s your 70s and your 80s you have to start incorporating retinol into your nightly skincare routine retinol also helps to brighten dull skin by exfoliating the skin at a cellular level we're not talking surface level we're talking in depth okay it helps to regulate oily skin and minimize breakouts also fades dark age spots sunspots and hyperpigmentations as you can see this powerful ingredient is packed with lots of skin benefits that would help your skin transform. Today's focus is on retinol itself. Okay, not this brand that I'm showing. This brand is just the one that I use. You can use whichever one you like, whichever one you can afford. Now, before using retinol, ensure that other products you're using with it are mild products from the face wash to the serums and the moisturizers. And like I mentioned before, retinol should be used at night. Start by cleansing with a mild cleanser. After cleansing and rinsing the skin, ensure the skin is very dry before going in with the retinol. And I don't mean damp skin, I mean very dry skin. Go in with the retinol and with retinol, you want to use a little bit. Ensure to avoid the eye areas. Depending on the retinol you're using, some brands would suggest you also avoid around your nose area and around your mouth area. So that way the retinol is not going into those crevices and working over time. And that could lead to skin irritation. But that is depending on the strength of the retinol. I believe with prescription grade retinol, um, you want to be really careful when applying around those areas. But with a milder retinol like this, you can get away with it. After applying the retinol, you want to wait for a little bit just so the retinol can dry down and absorb well into the skin. After that, I go in with my essence. Now, this stuff is very moisturizing. One thing about retinol is you want to use it alongside very moisturizing products because retinol tends to dry out the skin and um, irritate the skin. So you want to combat that with moisturizing products. Again, these products are just for demonstration. You don't have to use this exact same products that I'm using. Like I said, the focus on this video today is on retinol. I'm just showing you the kinds of products to use alongside retinol. As long as you're using mild and moisturizing products, you're good. After my essence, I finally go in with my moisturizer all over my face. And that is basically it for the retinol application. Retinol is not supposed to be used every day. But again, it depends on the type of retinol. For example, this particular brand of retinol says to use it every other day for the first two to four weeks. And after that, to use every day, like every night. While some other brands, especially those higher grade ones, would advise to use retinol for two to three times in a week. I recommend if you're just starting out, you've never used retinol before, you should do two to three weeks just so your skin can slowly build a tolerance to it. And then you can increase gradually from there. Since retinol is such a powerful ingredient, it can cause the skin to redden or peel. If it's incorporated into a skincare regimen too quickly or used too often, it is however normal to experience skin flakiness, dryness and even some breakouts when you first incorporate it into your routine. Typically though, it just takes a little time for the skin to adjust. When I first started this particular brand of retinol, I noticed a day after using it for the first time that I started having flakiness around my mouth area and um, before you knew it, it stopped. I've not had any side effects and I've not been breaking out. As you guys can see, my skin is basically clear. My skin has been thriving so much since I incorporated retinol into my skincare routine. I'm honestly loving how well um, retinol is working on my skin. I cannot believe I shied away from doing this because of the first experience I had. 
that is why it is really really important to do your research because again what works for one skin might not work for yours i've noticed that it literally smoothens out my skin i've not had any breakouts since i started using now it. one important thing you need to know before going into using retinol is that you have to use your spf religiously if you want to incorporate retinol into your skincare routine then just make sure that alongside that you have your spf because retinol works by exfoliating the skin by shedding off those dead skin cells thereby revealing a newer skin this new skin increases um, sun sensitivity that is why you have to protect your skin every time you're out and about and remember to reapply your spf every two hours especially when you're like outside you're in the sun make sure that you get yourself an spf even if you're not using retinol you need to be using an SPF. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. I hope this video would encourage someone out there if you've been very skeptic about going into the retinol trend. You don't have to be scared, okay? You just have to do your research well and go for more milder retinols to start with. If you don't want to jump into using those prescription grade ones, that was a mistake that I made and never again. And the good thing about retinol is that it comes in different price range. So just use the one that fits your budget have you incorporated retinol into your skincare routine are you thinking about it what are the effects you got from using retinol good or bad let me know in the comment section below subscribe to this channel if you're not already turn on the post notifications so you get notified anytime there's a new video